2006 Miata NC and I bought some headers for it. Legit. Marissa Tomei. They're Tomei headers. I already opened them. Oh. I got too excited. What? Here's what came inside. Yeah. Gasket. Um, JDM zip ties. Some pretty sick stickers. And um, instructions. In Japanese. So, also English. And bolts. Got some header wrap. More zip ties. And actual header. So nice. Look at the welds. Yeah, so I've never done a header install before, but I think I could do it. There's enough information online to read up on it, I guess. Uh, so yeah, it probably won't be done today. It'll probably take me two days like a chump, but hopefully everything goes okay. That's a monocle for this heavy ass jack. I hate this fucking jack so much. <sighs> for good measures. I'm gonna take out the battery first. And to do this job, you really do need to take out the battery. These have all been 10 millimeters, by the way, just in case you were wondering. Four bolts, and you're good to go. What do you think, boy? You didn't even do anything. What? Yeah, I did a lot of things. It was hard. Did you put it in? No. Who's on the phone? Oh, yeah. Who's on the camera? Huh? Who's on the camera? Who's on the camera? Who's on the camera? I don't think I understand your question. So why you video everything? You tell me. For a school project. That's a lot of bread. I'm supposed to say I like bread. So if you've been following along, um, go ahead and grab yourself a cookie and then grab yourself another cookie because you're not even halfway done. You don't get any cookies. You're not working on cars. Now it's time to remove the header shield. It's held together by these three bolts. I think maybe four. I see another one. But yeah, it's kind of pieced together by these bolts, and of course, they're all 10 mil.
I have gloves so I don't cut myself. Because it's pretty sharp. You can finally get to those bolts inside. Shield. Guess the middle part. But Sweet. Time to take off your wheel to get to the O2 sensors on the side. Uh, you have to take off the passenger room. I actually remembered to break the bolts before I jacked up the car this time. Yeah, those are the two O2 sensor wires you have to disconnect. It's time to actually disconnect the mid pipe from the header. Starting to take off the header now. Uh, of course, I used the breaker bar and all these, um, but it wasn't too tough. So, yeah. Yeah, so we got the support piece out, right? Yep. And we broke both of the bolts. Yep. <sighs> Ta-da! Thanks. Yes, sir. Wait, feel how heavy this is. You thought the other one was heavy? Oh, shit. This... Yeah, but it has a discomfort. What's this? Catholic comfort? This up. I think it's gonna work. Just for comparison, here's the old rusty one and the new Tomei one. The worst part about this header is uh, these little chokes right here. They like completely bent it from factory. So you lose whatever power you have in your headers. But thanks to these, we got some curvy, free flowing exhaust. You proud? New day, same outfit. Um, got a lot of work done, but I'm basically halfway through. We just have to reassemble, or basically do everything I did backwards. Uh, along with uh, figuring out how to reroute the O2 wire so it can uh, get to my secondary catalytic converter and I don't get a check engine light. If you could see the two connectors that are black and gray, you basically have to try to follow this wire through the engine, split the, split the two wires. So I started on wrapping the, the sheath basically that has the wires. Yeah, so you could finally split it. It goes all the way back here. And then what I'm planning to do is split this and then have one of these O2 sockets go between this fuel rail all the way back through the, the transmission tunnel so I can uh, link up to the cat in my mid pipe. You are going to find you. 
but it looks like it doesn't fit just barely. I think if I cut more wire on top it might do it. Damn girl! Down here! Yeah? <laughs> Okay, so I got the O2 sensor to fit, except it's going to be super tight squeeze. Hopefully I didn't pull on the wires too much and this car is not going to start. We got the, the wire all unwrapped. And made sure the O2 sensor fits. And got the old bung out from the mid pipe and made sure it fits inside this. After it stops raining, I'm gonna actually go to the store and get some tape that, so I can start wrapping up all the wiring I ended. This is what you need to wrap the wire. I'm just gonna start wrapping up these wires with this tape. Got these wires wrapped up, and then I'm gonna start working on this uh, this O2 sensor that needs to go all the way down to the windpipe. God damn it, I blew my load. Georgie. I'm coming for you, Georgie. Oh, he's gone. This header wrap, I'm gonna kind of like blanket it over. I take zip ties and then basically zip tie it all the way down. This wire right now is almost touching this mid pipe, and that would definitely melt it. Is it safe? Yeah, sure. I think I got everything back on. The battery on, the pipe, the exhaust, um, the hoses that I disconnected. I stuff to do like some small stuff, but I figured I'd test it now before um, I get any further. Hopefully it, everything works. I'm gonna feel so shitty if it doesn't. You wanna do the honors? No. It's gonna be so sick, it's gonna be so scary. Oh my god, the anticipation is killing. Okay. Now we turn around. And push clutch. All the way in, then start it. And then let go of it. <laughs> okay, that's kind of loud. Holy shit. Just leave it on. Is the check engine light on? Nope. Oh, yes. All right, good. Uh, so it looks like it worked. High five me, bro.